Hello YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies of Metal once again, and today uh, we are doing another manga uh, first impressions review. Today we're going to be looking at Die Well Gelder Gelder. Die Well Gelder, sorry, that's a very weird word, and I think it means something specific in German, but I have no clue what it does, uh, what it means, so now, if someone does know, let me know down in the comments. And the author here is here, Aki Samura, if you guys know, that is the creator of Blade of the Immortal, so his art style is going to be very similar, and it definitely follows that same kind of um philosophy that he has in blade of the immortal which is the rule of cool right like he, he focuses more on making it cool than make it make sense sometimes however i think that this story is a little bit maybe not grounded but a little bit easier to follow right so that's quite good the publisher here is kadansha and i bought it physic uh, digitally sorry not physically however i do want to collect it physically because i think it's just a better way to own it however it's kind of expensive so I probably won't buy it anytime soon, but I would like to own it physically at some point. Um, and I bought it when this was like 99 cents. So, you know, that's why I think it's expensive in comparison. It's not really that expensive compared to other manga of its like style and quality. So it's not that uh, expensive. It's just, I bought this for 99 cents. So anything other than that would be kind of expensive, right? Um, and yeah, I read it on the Bookwalker app. So there you go. Um, the um, demographic is seinen, of course. And the genres here are action and, I guess, sci-fi. And uh, in terms of adaptation, I'm not really sure. I couldn't find any information on it. But I'm pretty sure Blade of the Immortal has an adaptation. So I don't see why this wouldn't have one as well. But I don't know. And the premise is actually very hard to describe. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, there's these evil German scientists. And they somehow inserted radioactive chemicals into a group of people. Or a village of people. But this village had, like special properties to it which cause the radiation to affect the people in very specific ways and so now uh, these evil scientists want to control the supply of genetic material coming out from this region and from a few other regions and that's the plot but the most important part is that there's a bunch of super hot femme fatale type characters just kicking butt all over the place um, there's like four of them which is pretty cool and um yeah I, I don't really know how to describe this this is like dragon lady galore and it's just like kill bill-esque and it it's vaguely sci-fi it kind of reminds me of origin by boichi and i don't really know what to explain because it's just fucking weird like at one point there even has like some somewhere out of nowhere this like mermaid appears and she has like a robotic vagina and it's just like what the fuck is going on man it's super weird like it's seriously super weird and um there's this like island that's basically like a like it has to do with the german scientist evil plot line thing thread th thread thing but also it's just kind of like an island for whores and it's just like what the fuck like I understand why people like this and I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good story to read, but like, what the hell, man? I have no clue how to explain this to anyone. Um, I definitely understand why um, We Family Dad likes it though. It makes a lot of sense. It's very good. It definitely has a lot of good fan service and the characters are pretty interesting. All of them have like tragic pasts and you know, they're kind of affiliated with the Yakuza who somehow ended up being the good guys because they want to take over this um, business, but they're realizing that this business is like even too shitty for Yakuza. So I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Um, it's pretty amazing. The art style is great, but it is really weird. And it's just hard to kind of sell it to anyone. Like, it, like I don't know how to explain this story to make it sound good because like it has good elements, but, like, I can't really, like, give you a solid through line of what's going on in this story to be like, hey, you should read this because it has this and this and this, right? Like, all I can tell you is if you like plot lines about evil scientist guys that happen to be German and you like femme fatale hot chicks, uh, read this. And <laughs> that, that, that's as, as best as I can get about this. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about this manga. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later.